Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for Sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. Um, I have a big announcement. Alright, now while we're in this new year here, 60% <laughs> off sale on most shop items on my Etsy shop, which is going to be in the description down below. You can find my Oracle cards there, which are limited edition, as well as my holographic stickers, which are also limited edition. Alright, and my mini holographic version of this deck, which will be available on there January 5th. There's only going to be one of those available, one of those ever made. Alright, so check that out in the description. Go buy something, you know. A bunch of other things there too, but more importantly that. So we have the Ace of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The moon, the empress, the six of pentacles, we have the three of cups, temperance, five of pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, High Priestess, Queen of Swords, which is your own card. We have Habibi. Boundless Innocence Taurus Rebirth Number 36, the River Queen Flow, letting go, natural movement We have number 38, the Keeper of the Scales, Fairness, Balance. Number 33, which is an important number, the Camel Boy, Small Steps, Asking for Help. Number 48, Wishing Well. Number 44, which is also an important number, Strength. Number 5, with Goblins in Reverse. Number 8, would Come Together. Number 28, Movement. Number 4, with Happy Family. Number 31, Door to Value. Number 37, Third Chakra, Archangel Camille. We have Commemoration. Changing Faces. Give and take. Spread your wings. Daisy and the dandelion. Number 28 with broken open. Number 32, quieting the mind. Number 45, beyond the ordinary. Number 35, a tall tale. Number 38, Endless Possibilities. Number 1, 1, 1, Earth Magic. Number 22, which is also an important number, Tender Embrace. Number 2, The Dawn. And this card always reminds me of Aquarius, like the age of Aquarius or something, you know? And number 6, with the Priestess. Number 15, the teacher. Number 20, the siren. Allowing yourself to be distracted from what you should be doing leads to procrastination, avoidance, and needless problems. We have number 33, once again, the witch. 
Number 24, The Healer. Number 28, with Nimu. Opportunity, Self Esteem, Respect, Confidence. Number 25, Priestess of Avalon, Divine Inspiration, Initiation, Healing, Ancient Knowledge. Number 32, with Bronwyn, Sacrifice, Letting Go, Balance, Support. Number 19, King Arthur, Power, Leadership, Authority, Justice, Family, Clarity, Home, Reconciliation, Protection. Number 33, once again, Flower Moon, Blossoming. Number 43, Blue Moon, The Unexpected. Number 31, Warm Moon, Faith. Number 5, Waxing Crescent. Number 3, with Growth. Number 41, Communication. Number 21, The Wasp, Anger, Retaliation, Jealousy. Number 18, The Cat, Independence, Healthy Boundaries. Number 49, Forgiveness. Number 3, The King, Man, Authority, Male Sexual Energy, Things Pertaining to the Law, Justice. Number 47, the gift, a present, an offer, nurturance, growth, potential. Number 39, shimmer, glamour, confidence, allure, charisma. Number 3, riddle fisher, divination, seeking out and finding answers. Number 16, her special place, find your own space, safe space, inside and out. With number 9, the silver sisters. Time to take protection from toxic thoughts and energy. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands, Aquarius. All right, so looking at your reading, the main thing here, what the main thing here is, your dreams are about to come true. What you've been wishing for, that's about to come true here. It's telling you not to give up on your dreams because they are coming in. Like, keep focusing on your dreams, basically, because it is all coming in. All right. You are boundless here. You have no restrictions, Aquarius. Innocence is there for some reason. Something about Taurus. Taurus being rebirthed, reborn. All right, but when we look at your reading here, Aquarius, we see. All right, so there. <laughs> this came out like one of the last readings I did for you, but either way. It feels like there is a witch that you connected with. It can be a Sag here. But either way, to really bring in what you want. Like you all connected with the moon here. And now you have what you've been asking for about to come in or the opportunity for. Alright, you have spirit here giving to you this is a gift all right of what you've been wanting because like you've been reflecting all right and you've been you're you're taking action towards what you've been desiring and what that feels like is a home aquarius all right like some sort of new residence you see this here a home and we also have the home card so that's what you've been planning up ahead for like i want this type of home you know like whatever you've been designing like a home or like there's this dream home that you've been wanting here right and you're you've been reflecting on a lot of things here and it's like you know I want this I'm taking action towards this and spirits like you know what you've been asking for this here's the opportunity to get it all right here's your here's opportunity for coins so that you can afford something like that all right and it feels like that's that this is a message coming in here the high priestess when you look at this high priestess it's holding a scroll here like a message all right this is something that has been manifested here all right, from this temperance empress. All right, they manifested something for you as well as something for themselves, which feels like a love for themselves here. All right, but this is all coming in here. We have a Libra here, keeper of the scales, that justice that keeps coming up. It feels like there's a reconciliation with that. The male here, 
some of the Libra placements. Reconciling with this Sag. See if it's like you've been asking for help. What I also feel like here is that there's another person that makes things up or is a really big liar. Feels like you're not speaking to them. Five of Pentacles. We have the tall tale asking for help. They're always asking you for help, never really do anything. But you're in your own wishing well, Aquarius. Look at this. You have the strength. Important numbers 44, 1, 33, 22, 2s, and 3s. Alright, we're breaking out of the illusion and we're like, yeah, we can do this. Alright. There's movement here happening, and I feel like actual physical movement of like moving somewhere else, somewhere different. Okay? The family's happy. See, that door for money is open. Yeah, the angel of Camille. This is the third chakra. Solar plexus chakra, working with that chakra here. This is like a uh, respect for the dead. Alright, which is kind of weird, but either way. This, can, this is a card of like wearing masks. And it's meaning that we have the birds. It's like you've been communicating with birds, you've been doing something with birds, giving to birds. And now the birds are giving back. Spirits. Spirits telling you to spread your wings, and I really feel like, you know, just just Aquarius, think about what you've been desiring, okay? Like, think about the home the sort of place, alright? Even if it's something, like, really, really big, something really, really out there, that's not out of your grasp, you understand? You can achieve what you've been desiring, alright? Go for it here. You need to have more fun in your life as well, alright? Quieting the mind. You are beyond the ordinary. See the tall tale card. There's endless possibilities for you here, Aquarius. Stick through that magic. What you've done here. See, once again, we have magic. We have the Priestess of Avalon. It's what you connected with here. That person. You have King Arthur. We have family. That, that person could be a part of your family. Things are becoming more clear to you. A home. You're being protected, but I feel like this person's reconciling. There's someone here that feels like has Libra placements or is a Libra. Because that's what keeps being presented here. Alright, this is all coming in and it's very unexpected here. Alright, it's a magical opportunity here. Now this card can also, is like faith here. But we also see like fertility and all that sort of stuff, so that's something to keep keep in mind. We have a lot of growth here happening. We have communication. We have the wasp. Someone being jealous of what you're accomplishing here. All right, but you're like the cat. You're setting up boundaries. We have the king. Forgiveness. Come together. Reconciliation. Once again, that doesn't really feel like you. That feels like the, this witch here and their person receiving a gift from the universe you're feeling more confidence you've been see you're getting the answers clarity to what you've been seeking you're having your own special place Aquarius and then we have the silver sisters so that could be you in this um witchy person here it's also protection protection from thoughts and energy toxic thoughts and energy here all right so Aquarius that is all I have for you and like I said go check out my Etsy shop go buy something there <laughs> all right um I don't know what's happening to me so if you want to see more content don't forget like subscribe bye guys